Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about implementing USB with WCA chips. In particular, the CH34X, CH91XX and the CH93XX. Now, the USB protocol is the stands for Universal Serial Bus, which is a USB communication protocol used for connecting computers and other devices. It is the most commonly used uh, protocol for transferring data between devices and with the introduction of USB PD, which you can watch in this previous video, it can also be used to charge devices, nowadays even power-hungry devices. So at WCH, uh, we have a set of chips that can implement USB, but in particular, we also need to look at how we can use serial protocol to make a USB connection. Now, a serial protocol is a set of rules that govern how data is sent sequentially one bit at a time of a communication channel. So examples include UART I2C and SPCI and many more application specific protocols like CAN. Now, the USB to serial chip has one main function, which is to allow for easier development by giving the developer access to serial peripheral communication, but then uh, having uh, a USB connection. So the chip will contain uh, the D plus and D minus pins for a USB communication and then a translation layer in between uh, the serial communication. So using this tactic, you can connect your host computer to through a WCH USB to serial chip. You can now make uh, an asynchronous serial port, convert a parallel printer to a USB printer and uh, also make two wire and four wire synchronous serial ports and even implement a JTAG interface. So what is the need for this USB to serial bridge IC? The main reason is that uh, it is used to connect microcontroller pins to a USB connector. And this is because embedded systems that need to be connected to a host computer platform require a universal communication standard, in this case, USB. The bridge connects the microcontroller pins to the US connector and one main advantage is that over voltage or ESD spikes on the USB bus will not damage, uh, may damage the bridge, but it will save the microcontroller. The small bridge chip is way less expensive and much more simple to replace than an actual microcontroller. So this can also save uh, a lot of uh, money in the future in case anything goes wrong. Now. Let us look at an overview of what some of the chips provided by WCH. Now, WCH provides USB high speed, full speed to serial port series chip, which can realize uh, USB between one, two, four, and even eight serial ports. It also supports serial port IO independent power supply and supports VCP, HID, CDC, and AOA drivers all to the serial port. Some models even support content configuration such as VID, PID, and string, and support operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Android, and Mac OS, and a lot more. The latest generation of WCH USB chips are, is the third generation of chips, and some of the main advantages are having a DMA transceiver being used internally, which can realize continuous and stable communication. So having that direct memory access transceiver allows for a much larger buffer, uh, allowing higher and faster connection and transmission rates, an integrated uh, crystal oscillator, EE prom all built in. This allows, uh, this allows the buyer to save a lot of money on parts and products. And also they come in different packages and different sizes, some as even as small as 3 by 3 millimeters. Okay, so let's have an overview of how each generation of chips differs from the previous one. Uh, so for example, we have three generations, as I said before, the classic, second generation, and then the third generation. Now, one of the key differences will be the speed with the third generation having up to six Mbps, uh, maximum serial port baud rate, and also supporting a lot of uh, extra features like hardware flow control and uh, having multiple voltage support. As you can see, the third generation can support 5, 3.3, 2.5, and 1.8, whilst the first and second can only support 5 and 3.3. This is especially important if you want to implement USB PD, where you need different voltage ranges depending on the 
on the current being given to the system. And lastly, the third generation contains a built-in unique ID, which is uh, essential, especially if you want to form uh, clusters or you have multiple chips working together. Now, when selecting a specific model, it is recommended to choose flexibly according to the number of serial ports, chip driver, and many other factors. The serial port provided by the chip defaults to TTL level, which can be flexibly converted to RS-232, RS-422, and RS-485 serial ports, etc., through the level conversion chip. So, as you can see from this application block diagram, by allowing WCH chips to be the middle bridge between your target device and your host computer, you can solve a lot of uh, development related problems by allowing WCH to handle the USB and you focusing more on serial communication. Okay, as you can see from this web page here, if you go to the special production page of WCH, you can see all the chips that are available for USB to serial implementation. Now the first diagram shows USB to single URT, so that is one single channel and all the features that are provided, like the driver type, the peaks maximum, uh, baud rate, and with the support for continuous baud rate, and so forth. But if we scroll down a bit, we can see the USB to multiple UARTs. So this is when you need to connect multiple devices or have multiple implementations. And as you can see, this ranges from two all the way up to eight channels of uh, for implementing USB, and uh, also, just like the table before with different uh, driver type and uh, support. Now, remember, WCH provides a variety of USB serial port drivers which support Windows, Linux, Android, and Mac OS and other operating systems. The VCP driver, this uh, the manufacturer provides an emulated serial port driver and it is easy to support a lot of systems and has multiple functions and high efficiency as it allows you to connect to a serial port whilst uh, leaving the rest of the more difficult USB protocol as an uh, internal resolution. HID is for uh, HID, this driver, all operating systems have this built in as a driver and users do not need to install anything manually. The only disadvantage of the HID driver is that the baud rate is limited up to 115200 BPS and it is not compatible with conventional serial port applications. And for legacy systems, the CDC driver, which is for supporting operating systems lower than Windows 10, and users will need to install this manually due to the CDC protocol and features of the class driver. The CDC serial port function is not as complete and not as fully supported as the VCP. When implementing this, as you can see from the software here, we can choose uh, the driver type and also uh, whether we're going to configure our EE prompt through an external serial or we're going to use the built-in EE prompt. And we can even do batch customization and uh, allowing us to support batch chips and serial driver customization. Now, comparing all we have just said uh, in a nutshell, especially the drivers now, comparing the drivers, we can see that uh, VCP is by far the most versatile because it allows for a lot of features. Almost all features are available with a VCP driver compared to the CDC, which is mainly for legacy devices. And uh, HID is also a flexible driver, excluding the speed limit. It is just as good as the VCP and supports all the same features as the VCP. So these are all the features supported by each driver. Now, lastly, I want to talk about the AOA protocol driver. Now, the AOA follows the Android AOA protocol. So this is mainly useful if you want to deploy a WCH bridge, uh, USB serial bridge chip on Android systems. Now, Android system use the AOA accessory driver that comes with the system, and the AOA serial port is recognized as a standard AOA accessory on the system. And this allows for a few applications. We can use the Android standard accessory library to realize driver-free applications. And also we can communicate with Android devices whilst they're charging compared uh, with the Android OTG extended serial port. This one, the AOA protocol driver is much more versatile and more useful. Now, 
where can we apply all these uh, USB implementations for WCH? Well, anything that involves USB, you can apply it. So for example, USB to serial ports, uh, you can use it uh, on your printer, both uh, as a parallel printer or any form of printing deployment. And also you can use it, uh, you can use the WCH as a uh, access control any point uh, whereby you need to connect to a mainframe host or a computer then you can use the usb pre-chips and it allows for easier deployment and uh, development because you can focus on programming for a serial interface and allow wch to handle the translation layer between your serial communication and usb communication uh, that's all for today if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and we hope to hear from you soon uh, and next time we'll be doing an in-depth dive as to how to deploy a USB device with WCH. Thank you.